understand what team is. A team, team like, to define, define team to me would be, um, team is, is a group of people that are linked together for a common goal or a common purpose. So you're linked together for a common purpose. And I think when you think about that, the word link literally means like connect to or, or, or join together, like, like a chain link block together. And that's, that's what literally what kind of bond you gotta have. This whole thing, this magical 2014 season, started with some other words too. When you win together, you lose together, you don't win. That's what the team's all about. So, um, kind of give you a visual of it. Great charge, good night, man. So, literally, Barry and I have four years of going against each other every single day. At the end of the day, I'm a better player because Barry Church, we're against me every day and tries to kick my right? So we're literally like, let's, let's come in together like that, right? These words, not delivered by Jerry, but rather by 12-year veteran Jason Witten in a team meeting one night early in training camp. When your head coach empowers you early in training camp and gives you an opportunity, um, you got to take advantage of those moments. And uh, I think as players, we're always worried about doing our job and being really good and executing and playing at a high level. But also, there's an opportunity to bring guys along with you and um, challenge them to do the same thing. And so. Uh, that was my opportunity. I felt like I wanted to be uh, smart and, and decisive with my words and how I said it and be to the point. And so um, it was an emotional deal and uh, emotional for me. It was emotional for the, my teammates and the coaches and um, something I'm proud of. At the end of the day, that's what team is. A team is a group of people linked together for a common goal. And uh, the more anything else, I'm excited to know this is a small part. 2014 team. I hope you guys are too. It's going to be hell to All these weeks later, what made those words so great? The potential Hall of Famer spoke them, and then all season long, he lived them. His role changed from a pass catching tight end in a pass happy offense to a blocking tight end in a run happy offense. That was important. Uh, I, I think. Uh, a lot of guys talk it, but then to go do it is instant credibility. And I think I knew going into the season, it was going to be different. And it was going to be a little bit of a sacrifice. Not only was it going to be a sacrifice, but it was going to be a challenge for me because what I do best, now I'm going to be, have less of opportunities and they're going to be challenged to help do something that I haven't done as much. And so you take pride in that and uh, you want to be really good in that. I think I, I can prove that, hey man, yeah, we always kind of thought he was consistent there, but he's doing it at a high level and, and then I think it just kind of spreads throughout your team of whatever your role is uh, do it to your best ability and, and uh, everybody for this team this entire team living those words through it all from training camp to right now is exactly how it finds itself right here back in the playoffs and according to Witten it's just what might give this team a better opportunity than his earlier chances. I feel like this year, this team kind of has the mindset of, there's a style in which we play. There's an identity of our football team. Offense, defense, special teams. And I think at different times in, throughout my career, that hasn't been the case. And 03, we had a really good defense. 06, we, we kind of snuck in in the wild card. 07, we were really good, we got beat. So it, each team is different. I feel like this team has really proven of, we have a style of play. We're going to play that way regardless of who the opponent is. And then we're going to fight, as Jason said. And uh, we're going to fight together. It's pretty neat to be a part of. Witten's original message still stands. But of course, with the playoffs now looming, you know he has another message or two. Don't let an opportunity like this slip. And what I mean by that is uh, do everything you can. Watch more tape, prepare more, more treatment. Um, this literally is it's his playoffs, and so these next three or four weeks, um, as I said earlier, uh, they can change your career, they can change your legacy, they can, it's an opportunity that you, you never may get back. Whether you're a rookie from Zach Martin or you're a guy like me that's in his 12th year, you, you don't know if you're going to get back there. And so do everything you can, and then you, you pour it out there on the field. It's a tough league, and it's hard to get there. It's hard to get in the postseason. It's hard to make a run in the postseason. And so... For us, I think that's coming in the message to the team is 
when you reflect on back on the last three years, it's not about the emotion of the game. It, it, it's simply about execution. And when this game t- uh, kicks off, it's going to be about execution. It's going to be about stopping their front four and, and then getting to their quarterback, playing well on special teams. It's going to be about execution. So for us, I, I feel like although we put our heart and souls into it and played at a high level, um, ultimately we're going to be judged on what we do in the postseason and we need to play well.